What's up guys, it's Blocksif back here for another video and in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to add codes to your Roblox game. So uh, credit to XX Lord for the codes and I will show you how to add them to the game and it is pretty simple here. You can write the code and it will actually give you some cash. And this is pretty awesome. So in this video I will show you how to add codes. It will be pretty simple. And this is pretty much it. This will be the last video for the uh, emoji simulator tutorials. Uh, sorry to everyone else who actually wanted other tutorials. But this is going to be the last. So I'm still going to uh, make other simulator tutorials that are going to be more advanced. So stay tuned. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over a link in the description. And you're going to actually get the uh, pack, uh, the uh, model of XS Lord. And it will be linked in the description, okay? So, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna get rid of everything that was already here. And I'm gonna go over and drag it in, which is right here. And you're gonna have something like this saying code GY. So, let's ungroup it. And let's go over and drag code script and server script service as well. Let's delete that leaderboard. And let's go in the code script, change cache to coins. Good. So now we're going to go over and take the entry code, remote event, and put it to replicated storage. And the code GUI to start GUI. So as well, in the, uh, we're going to go over in the, in the code GUI and in the button, and actually in the frame, and in the enter button. And we're going to go over and click it in the local script. And here there's going to be two codes, the Roblox one and the YT one. You can change you can change them to whatever you want. I'll change the YT to blocks devs. And as well, it is really simple to add codes. You just copy and paste more, and this is it. So uh, here uh, we've got the Roblox code, which is expired. Uh, there's the months and dates here, and we got a blocks devs code, which is still good. So if I go over and test it, you're actually going to see that uh, we do have working codes. Here, as you can see, uh, as well, I'll show you how to make a spawn, uh, how to make a, you know, you how to make your character spawn in the right place, which is really, really simple. So now if you go over and click in this, uh, the code GUI is going to appear. And if you write uh, the code, which is blocks devs, and you redeem it, then of course it is redeemed successfully, and we've got coins. And if you want to redeem it again, it will not work. It will say, bam code already redeemed so yes it is working uh, marvelously or uh, nice nicely okay N nicely so this is how you would add codes and now I'm gonna be actually modeling a bit the map so if you guys want to stay looking I'm just gonna go over and add uh, a little spawn I guess which is pretty cool to do and uh, for the rest of the video I'm gonna be doing that so if you guys want to stay watching you can and as well I will do a video on how to make a similar map and some other cool stuff so stay tuned here. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over and to go and model and uh, there's this pawn right here and I'm going to go over and click on it. So I'm going to go over, come somewhere here and click on spawn. This is much too close to the shop so I'm going to put something here. And I'm going to make a little circle spawn to look better. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over and uh, can collide, put it off. And as well, I'm going to go over and change the transparency to 1. And I'm gonna go over inside the spawn location and get rid of the decal. So yes, we've got a spawn right here. Okay, so now let's start, I guess, modeling the map. So it is pretty simple. We're gonna go over and get a part, and we're gonna go over and extend it as long as we can, something like this, and something like that, and like that, and like that. And we're actually gonna go over and change the shape from block to cylinder and if we go over and put it off it will be a really skinny looking cylinder so what we're going to do we're going to go over and stretch it over to a much bigger one and what we're going to do is simple we're going to make it uh, as thin as possible and as wide as possible something like this and let's go over and rotate it 
this way and put it down um, like this and now we're gonna go over and continue adjusting the spawn and it's already looking great so I'm gonna go over and do something like that and the rotation was not accurate so I'm gonna go over and make it more accurate and a bit more down and uh, more accurate okay this looks perfect okay so like this and I'm gonna go over and take this and put it a bit up and actually I think I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna go over and put the shop with something like this so it looks good okay so now I'm gonna go over and take uh, the grass and I want to get rid of some of the grass which is the right ones which is this one and that one is fine that one here so this looks good and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go over and select the part and I'm gonna go over and select the base plate uh, base plate, base plate, base plate. Sorry, not here. Map, base plate. I'm gonna want to take the texture, duplicate it, and drag it into the part. Which is the wrong one. Uh, what part is it? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go over and change the face from back, from bottom. From front, from left, uh, right. Okay, here, right is the right face. So I'm gonna go over in the texture. I'm actually gonna go over and change uh, the blocks. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over and change the um, what is it? 